My name is Hod Lipson. I'm a professor of engineering at Columbia University in New York. Uh, I uh, do research in robotics and a lot of people ask what is sort of the next uh, big thing in robotics? Where is robotics is, uh, going? Where, where is, uh, what's going to happen next? And we've seen an incredible progression in robotics and AI in the last decade, uh, all the way from uh, sort of rule-based systems that work in factories to machines that can recognize things on the street, drive cars, even machines that can be creative. Uh, so what's going to happen next? So the kind of research that we're looking at is this, I think, the ultimate question in robotics is can machines feel? It's the question of sentient machines. People. Uh, talk about uh, robots that can detect emotion and fake emotions, machines that can generate music and art, but the big question is can machines one day actually have feelings? Is it possible for a robot to actually have emotions, real emotions? So we're looking into this question of sentience and the idea is that once you take all this AI that right now uh, is used for machines to model the world and you turn it inside robots begin to model not the world but to model themselves and we have these robots that gradually uh, create an image of themselves and use that image to do things uh, into the future they can plan they can think they can imagine themselves doing something uh, in in the future and when a machine can imagine itself i argue that is a sort of emotion it's the beginning of sentience because maybe emotions are nothing but the ability to imagine ourselves in the future. So these are very, very simple machines, but we'll have to see where it goes because I, f I think that after all, we roboticists are trying to breathe life into matter, not unlike alchemists a thousand years ago.